Okay, welcome. Today you join me at uh, Home Farm Fishery Alsager near Crewe. There's two waters on the site here. There's a, there's like a club match lake and there's a specimen pool and I believe there's a good head of fish in here. Uh, I'm doing a feature today for Total Carp magazine and we've already caught one. So have we caught it? Well today I'm going to tell you about method feeder fishing. It's often overlooked now in carp fishing because it's not carpy enough. However, if you're not using it, you're missing a trick, particularly on these sort of waters that tend to have a, a good number of fish in. It's a very quick and simple way of catching carp. How do I fish it and what baits to use? Dead simple. You want a specific method mix. I use one that's uh, from the Crafty Catcher stable and it is a specific method mix. You can use ground bait in various forms, but there's not a lot of food content, content in those and carp tend to like a little bit of grub. So this particular mix has got a lot of shrimp in there, krill meal, various size micro pellets. Uh, mixed in with the crumbs so you can you can mix it it's very versatile you can mix it quite stiff so you can chuck it a long way if you need to be fishing out in open water however today I'm fishing fairly close uh, when I say close there's a set of lily pads just out there probably about 15 meters out uh, so you don't have to chuck into the middle of the lake to catch fish um, dead simple and I pinched something here from the match fishing scene they use these sort of hybrid feeders now, these are brilliant um, little simple things, not like the old method feeders where you had to mould a big ball round and you know you needed 15, 18 pound line to try and get them out and you ended up cracking off. These are dead simple. You can get them in various sizes. This is a, an ounce. Um, by the time you've loaded it, you've probably added another ounce of bait to it. So you've got two ounces there. A little bit of tungsten tubing behind it just to just to pin everything down behind the feeder. And I'm using a fluorocarbon main line because I'm fishing in the margins. Um, and the water's gone relatively cold, uh, clear now because we're well into October. The water, uh, the clarity is starting to drop. So you want to pin everything down as best you can and make it uh, less obtrusive to the fish so you don't spook them when they're coming in the margins. Dead easy to use and fill these. Beauty of method mixes is obviously PVA bag fishing is very similar in that you're putting a very small parcel of bait tight in one spot and the fish come in and they hoover it up you've got a short hook link in there a very soft sh supple hook link um, and the fish are hooked against the weight so it's like a bolt effect dead easy to use these and the weights in the base so when you fill them they always land bottom down so your hook bait's always going to be sat on top so the fish when they come in they pick it up feel the weight and boom they're off to fill them it's dead easy, you can, you can use method moulds, there's loads of different types of moulds you can use and different feeders, you don't have to use these specific feeders, but all you do is you put a bit of bait in there, put your hook bait in, now you probably notice the hook bait is a little trimmed down bait and that's king prawn wafter, I've trimmed it down because when the fish come in they don't want to be sucking a big heavy bait up in a boiler, so a tiny little wafter flies in really easy, cover it up, dead simple and literally you just tap it in with your thumb can put as much as you want on these there are different sizes like I say and this is a medium size because I'm in and out all the time so I don't want to be leaving big piles of bait so that's another advantage using a smaller feeder you can keep putting it in quite often and you're not going to overfeed the fish so literally that is it and that has caught me a fish today that little tiny parcel of bait 